Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I have an awesome pantry crock pot meal for you, and we are purging and organizing the master bedroom closet. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. This is truly a pantry crock pot meal in the sense that I really don't have a recipe that I'm going to be following. I'm just sort of combining things that I have on hand to make this roast as tasty as possible. So this is about a two and a half, three pound chuck roast that I got from our local giant. And out here I have a medium sized onion, some Dijon mustard, beef broth, and some balsamic vinegar. Before I put this roast in the crock pot, I want to sear it first in some butter and olive oil. I have seasoned it really well with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and Mrs. Dash. And I'm going to sear it for just about five minutes or so on each side. Once browned on each side, place your roast in the crock pot. I am re-seasoning it with additional salt, pepper, Mrs. Dash, garlic powder, and also some rosemary, basil, and oregano. Cover the whole top with sliced onion, and then pour on the mixture of one cup of beef broth, a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, and a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Place back in the crock pot base and cook on high for one hour, then on low for four to five hours. Always check for doneness with a meat thermometer to be sure that the meat has reached the appropriate temperature before serving. So I have this zone schedule that I use to clean my whole house and it's like a rotating schedule every few weeks. And this week we are in the master bedroom. So I'm gonna be using my time this week to clean out my master bedroom closet and go through my drawers, go through everything that I have and just get rid of anything that doesn't fit or that I don't wear anymore. I still have to put away all of my winter clothes and get out all of those things for spring. So this is what my closet looks like now. It's not in horrible shape, but it certainly has been ignored the last several weeks. Everything hung up needs to be gone through and organized, and I still have out all of my winter boots and just shoes all over the floor, which I like to keep the floor as clear as possible, so these all need to be put away. The cubes on the side here need to be gone through and purged of anything that I'm just not wearing and it's just taking up space. I also keep the majority of my handbags in these cubes so I can go through them because I know that I can donate several of them. So this is my husband's side of the closet, which is always neat and organized. The only things out of place here are a couple of my tops that don't belong. Next to that is where I keep all of my dresses, which I went through when we first were staying at home, and I was able to donate four or five that I just don't wear and have never really fit well. Whenever I go through my clothes, I always ask myself three questions. Does it fit? Do I love it? And do I wear it? If the answer is no and the garment is in good shape, I put it in the donation pile. If it is stained or worn through, I put it right in the trash. This bin and cube system that we have in our closet has worked really well for us. I can store so many things and keep everything out of sight. It is always a sad time of year when I have to put away my boots because they are my most favorite accessory and I have quite a few pairs. I store them in these really nice fabric storage bins that I found on QVC that I'll leave a link to down below. They allow me to lay my boots out flat and because they're fabric, air circulates easily. Before I store my boots away, I always try to clean them off as best as I can with a lint brush and wipe the bottoms. I always put in a rolled up magazine in the shaft to help retain their shape. These fabric bins are really great because you can easily store them under your bed or in a different part of your house entirely. I usually store these in our guest room closet and when I open them up again next year, everything will be in perfect condition. Between my closet and dresser, I was able to donate four big bags full of clothes, shoes, purses, and hangers. It is really a good feeling to be able to pass along things that I no longer use onto someone else that could put them to good use. There are also sites online like Poshmark where you can sell your unused clothing as well. So my closet is all organized and ready for the coming spring and summer season. Our master bedroom closet was a project that my husband and I worked on last year and I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to that video 
down below where there is a lot more information on the closet units that we used and the other storage solutions that we chose. I will also leave links to some of the products that I mentioned here today. They are all very budget friendly and easily found online at Target or Home Depot. I tend to use the same storage solutions throughout my whole house because my favorite type of storage is at your fingertips but out of sight. And you really do not have to spend a lot of money for simple and useful storage. So remember to check out the description box below this video for those links and more information. And also leave me a comment down below as well if you would like to see more videos about my zone cleaning schedule. So back in the kitchen, our roast is all done. I think it cooked for a little over four hours total and it was literally falling apart when I took it out. I just made some simple mashed potatoes and mixed vegetables to go along with it. And this whole meal was just so good. I'll leave the details to the recipe in the information section down below. This was so simple to put together and it was just a combo of some things that I already had in my pantry and we often get the best recipes that way. So thank you all so much for watching today and for your response to my last video with Rebecca's apple pie. We had so much fun making that video and reading all of your comments. As always, I am so grateful for this community and I hope that you are all doing well. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you all love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I will see you again soon. Bye.